Welcome back to Team Performance TV guys. Today I'm going to show you how to use a torque wrench and we're going to put some wheel locks on this G80 M3. So this is the torque wrench we're going to be working with today. It is by Gear Wrench. Lots of other manufacturers make torque wrenches. This is just the one I could afford. It is half inch because we are doing with wheels and this is how you adjust the torque to what spec you need it to be. So this torque wrench has foot pounds and Newton meters on the other side. Wherever you are in the world, it'll work for you. So in America, we have foot pounds. We want 104 foot pounds for the BMW. So we're gonna turn it till we get to 90, right? Now this is increments of 20 here. So we're gonna have to go 92, 94, 96, you get it, now we're at 100. Now we gotta go four more. And there we are, 104 foot-pounds of torque. So we're gonna be replacing one lug on each of the wheels with these. And if anybody wants to steal your wheel, they're gonna steal it, but this will slow them down. It's not guaranteed, it's not 100%, just like condoms. So the wheel, tire, and brake package on this thing is super expensive. One of those rotors alone are $1,000 in the front. I don't want another price of a caliper. And these wheels would fetch a pretty penny for anybody who has a regular 3 Series and wants to fake out being an M. So I have a wheel socket. It's got a plastic ring around it, so it'll turn, it won't scratch the wheel. This is by Craftsman. You can pick this up in Lowe's for like 20 bucks. It's definitely worth the buy. And I have the Milwaukee Impact Gun. You can do it by hand too, but you know, why? lug bolts. All the European cars have lug bolts and not lug nuts. So now with the lock comes a key you have to make sure it sits in and we can put it back in place. We're gonna run it up by hand and then use the torque wrench to tighten it. You don't want to put the gun on lug nuts. People do it. A lot of times they're over torqued, the next thing you have to take the tire off and you can't get it off because you don't have an impact gun. Or they get seized. So when using this, you want to be pulling down, not up. You could hit yourself in the face. This is what you don't ever want. So we're going to tighten. Tighten. You're not going to jerk the torque wrench. You just want to give it pressure. When you hear that click, you're at your torque spec. So this car comes with staggered wheels. The front is 19 by nine and a half, and the rear is 20 by 10 and a half. So the offset is different. That's where a flex torque wrench head comes into play. It does help, but we gotta take the lug nut off first. Having a flex head with this wheel offset ensures you don't scratch the wheel with the torque wrench. And again, we're gonna tighten, tighten. We're good. keys in my pocket. As long as the key is near the car, it'll unlock, lock. If you walk away from the car, it'll lock again. So that's that noise that you're hearing. Now it's the last one. If you don't put the key right in with the socket, it'll slip and you won't be going anywhere. Don't 
forget to put the key back in the car because you'll be in for a fun time if you don't. So since we finished a little bit early, I'll do a little walk around of this thing. This is a BMW Individual Rabbit Gray M3. It's a M3 Competition X-Drive, so it's got every option besides the, the self-driving thing that nobody wants in an M car. As long as the key's close by, it'll do that. So the car looks like it's gray, and when the sun hits it, it's metallic bronze. It's a $2,000 extra add-on, and it's more of a wait time because it's not made on the same assembly line as the regular M3. This does not have the carbon package yet, but it will be coming soon. On the inside, it's got the carbon fiber interior package though. As you can see, the screen is amazing. And I got red competition seats. Not the buckets. The buckets I heard are really uncomfortable. So I don't need to be in a race car every single day of my life. The seats light up. This car has the laser LED package. It's like a thousand dollars more when you're buying the car brand new. You don't get the full LED uh, halos if you don't get the uh, the um, laser package. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to please like and subscribe if you made it this far in the video. There'll be more BMW M3 content coming soon.